Okay, we have details from the NIA charge sheet itself and according to that charge sheet which we have been able to access, uh, it seems that the NIA is arguing that this was not a murder and that instead it needs to be looked at through the lens of a terrorist act. The agencies further said that the murder threatened the unity of the country and that it promoted enmity among different communities. Uh, now, my colleague, our Mumbai Bureau Chief Vinaya Deshpande, is with us right now. She's bringing us details about what the NI had to say in their investigation. Let's go over to her right now to understand more. Uh, Vinaya, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Vinaya, first, could you walk us through the details revealed in the NIA charge sheet on Friday? Well, it was an extremely important piece of evidence there, the charge sheet which has been filed uh, in the court of law now uh, by the NIA, giving out crucial evidences with respect to uh, you know the role that all the 11 accused who have been charge sheeted by the NIA played. Now the NIA has said in this charge sheet uh, that the murder of Umesh Kulhe was not just a murder, but it was a, an act of terror. In fact... Uh, I also want ahead to say that all these 11 members formed a terror gang in order to make an example out of the Amravati killing. Uh, this was ostensibly, the NISA is done because uh, Umesh Kolhe had supported Bukur Sharma. Not just Umesh Kolhe, but three others were also threatened, is what the NIA has claimed in the charge sheet. In fact, crucial pieces of evidence given in that charge sheet uh, we have been able to access the synopsis exclusively in which uh, we can show how uh, the NIA has given the cell tower location of the several accused involved in this conspiracy uh, to prove that they were around Umesh Kolhe uh, when the murder took place. In fact, uh, you know, one of the main accused, the main conspirators, Dr. Yusuf, who's a veterinary doctor, uh, the NIA has claimed that he was a part of a WhatsApp group uh, through which the accused met and thereafter they planned the conspiracy. Uh, so several details they are being given by the NIA in its charge sheet which was filed on Friday and which we have been able to access now in which it has given evidence against the 11 accused it has charge sheeted in the murder of Umesh Kolhe. In fact, the family has now said that it is satisfied with the direction of the probe and uh, that it hopes that uh, the accused will be uh, brought to justice as soon as possible. Uh, the BJP leaders locally from Akola have also expressed satisfaction over the way the probe has gone till now. Uh, meanwhile, the NIA in its crucial charge sheet uh, has given out evidence against all the 11 accused uh, who have been charged cheated in the Umesh Kolle murder case. Okay, Vinaya, we're now coming to you for more details. Can you tell us more about the 11 accused? Where are they located right now? Well, all these accused are currently in custody of uh, the uh, NIA uh, and we have been able to, uh, you know, show the photographs. Right, on the left uh, side of the screen. They have been yeah. attending all the trials uh, in the NIA court. They have been uh, legally represented. Uh, all these accused are uh, have been uh, given a copy of the charge sheet uh, which has been filed against them uh, this Friday. Now remember, uh, the accused uh, come from around Akola itself where the in order to kill a mobile the NIA says was an act of terror and that was allegedly to make an example out of this. Uh, so as of now, all the accused are, uh, all these accused are in uh, NIA custody and uh, they have been facing trial after the charge sheet has been filed. Uh, the NIA uh, will take this up further. Okay, Vinaya, I also want to come over to you for more context on the Tablighi Jamaat. I just want to tell our audiences the Jamaat is a Sunni movement. It aims to reach out to ordinary Muslims and revive their faith, particularly in matters of ritual. But Vinaya, I want to understand from you in Maharashtra in particular, how widespread is the practice of the Jamaat? A and B, is this the first time that the Jamaat has been named in any case by the NIA? Uh, well, we know that uh, the Tablighi Jamaat, which is uh, which the NIA claims are the radicalized Islamists uh, who have been involved in this killing, uh, is an organization uh, that has uh, been banned. And uh, we have seen that uh, the Tablighi Jamaat, uh, you know, it, it has faced 
uh, a ban at several locations. In fact, uh, the tablighi jamaat has has been banned in some of the Central Asian countries as well. Uh, this is uh, after some of the countries also accused it of being the gate of terror. Uh, so as of now, we have seen that even last year there was uh, this uh, huge controversy that was surrounding uh, the tablighi jamaat, which was at the center of the controversy in India after dozens of people who had attended. Uh, a religious congregation of the group at its headquarter in Delhi in 2020. Uh, you know, after they had tested positive for COVID, there was a whole controversy around it. Uh, the Islamic Missionary Organization had made headlines uh, even after it was banned in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the country's Ministry of Islamic Affairs had stated that uh, Minister of Islamic Affairs, uh, the mosque teachers, and the mosque uh, temporary. to allocate the next friday i beg your pardon uh, so we have seen that the okay can i just Jamaat can i just ask you vinaya to stay with us we have the uh, we have ram kadam from the bjp with us right now on the phone i want to go over to him very quickly to understand more about the bjp's response sir good morning thank you for joining us here on cnn news 18 sir the nia in its charge sheet on friday saying that 11 of the men responsible allegedly for murdering the 54 year old amravati resident were radical islamists of the tablighi jamaat sir what is your response what is the larger bjp's response sir? See, from the day one, we have been telling that this is not a simple murder. There is some terrorist links, and now as per the charge sheet, those links have been established. And uh, you know that when this murder happened, honourable, uh, uh, that time Uttar Thakri was the chief minister and the, the the government, how they wanted to cover up this entire case, but uh, and I has uh, thoroughly investigated. And now the terror links uh, has been established. So we have to still investigate thoroughly, and we have to find out those links are reaching to which end. But I'm sure now in Maharashtra, under the leadership of uh, Ekdash Shinde and Devendra Fadnavis, will not entertain such kind of uh, law and order situation has been disturbing. Hmm? It will not tolerate this kind of incidents henceforth. Uh, sir, can I ask you over here? Since uh, the government right now is a BJP government, it is of course a alliance, but the BJP is one of the parties in power. Can we expect the Maharashtra government to crack down on the Jamaat or take action in the next few months? Your voice is little bit skipping. Can you repeat it again? Yes, sir. I wanted to ask you after this NIA charge sheet, can we expect the government, the BJP government in Maharashtra, to take further action on the Jamaat, or is it yeah, too uh, early to say? Of course, of course. Under the leadership of our Home Minister Devendra Fadnavis, will take strict action. Rather, we have already started taking actions against it. We, We're just finding out which are the groups who are uh, linked with this group. What is their motive? Uh, which kind of terrorist activities they have planned? So we'll not solve it. Such kind of incidents will thoroughly investigate. Okay. All right. Uh, Ram Kadam, sir, thank you so much for joining us.